Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, be calm and carry on. Yes, trying times right now. I found that at uh, Goodwill, so I had to pick that up. Might be uh, good, good advice right about now. Anyway, let's move right along into the video. Thank you for joining me. This is Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything about Land Rovers. And today, we're going to be talking about the new uh, Range Rover uh, Velar. And uh, why we're going to be talking about that is, uh, they finally, this one finally came in my area. So we're going to talk about it again. We're going to look at that one later. That's the teaser. No. <laughs> So anyway, so uh, as you all know, this is uh, the new Velar, uh, Range Rover Velar, for, new for 2019. This was the first edition, all right? This is what, uh, what we all became uh, in love with, was this beauty right here. So very nice, uh, very nice model. Very nicely detailed, very nice uh, uh, metallic silver. Great, uh, great selection on the wheels. I can't, uh, I've been messing around with the wheels, uh, seeing if there's some other ones that would uh, go good, but these are excellent. These are high class. They kind of fit the model, so I'm very happy with that. Oh, and I just dropped it. All right, let's move on. The next one was this uh, Kroger grocery store um, uh, limited. Uh, what, what do they call that? Addition. It, it was just uh, at the grocery stores, Kroger's, and uh, I think pick and save and stuff like that. Well, anyway, the, the, the big box stores like Walmarts did not get this. This is a nice, beautiful white. Same tampos and everything like that. Same wheels. Uh, but the top is a little bit less uh, darkened. It's more transparent, I should say. And uh, just a beautiful model. I, I, I love the color. It's uh, sleek. It's sexy. It's, uh, you know, all those things that a Range Rover Velar would be. All right? Just awesome. Just awesome. So uh, what we're going to look at here is uh, the, the tops. Uh, the uh, the uh, transparent glass is what we're going to look at. Now, the white ones, as far as I know, and uh, just to give a big shout out, I got a, his name will flash up here uh, shortly on the screen. It, uh, the guy that, <laughs> the guy that's been bringing this to me, there's his name, it flashed up on the screen, Colin over in Michigan. He's been, uh, we've been talking back and forth about this, and uh, yeah, I, I knew that there was a difference, but you know, they're, they're, um, pretty much consistent with the color. So the white one pretty much is consistent with uh, having a lighter, more transparent top than the silver one. The other thing is uh, the, the new one coming out, the black one is even worse, but we'll get into that. So the next one that came out was uh, the uh, white one, like I say, that was uh, Kroger exclusive per se. Uh, it, nothing really changed. It's still 20 new for 2019. Beautiful packaging. Uh, I got a few of those. I got a few uh, from my friend uh, Aiken. Uh, and uh, these I set aside. They got goobers on them. I don't know exactly what's going on there. But uh, there's two of them that uh, same light uh, transparent, uh, covers to them, but, uh, this is all, uh, this is all, this is all I have found of, uh, or have. I, I actually, uh, only found a couple of these myself. I've had, uh, die cast, uh, members and, and, uh, friends, uh, find more for me. So, uh, yeah, so I, I'm still looking out for those. Uh, I still pick them up. Uh, those, uh, yeah, I may, on the street, I may pay up to $3 for these. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, 
Uh, right now, things are a little bit uh, <laughs> quarantined, so we'll see what happens to the prices uh, when we get out and about again, you know? But, uh, yeah, very, very, uh, very something else there. So, the other thing that I, I, I guess is what we're talking about is watching the transparency of the uh, roof. And, uh, oh, you want to know what this one is, huh? This is something I've been playing with. Um, I uh, did actually, <laughs> I did actually take one of these white ones apart, and I did actually uh, try some different things with it, and um, they didn't work. And so now I'm trying to uh, do a custom with uh, this uh, Velar and make it a. Uh, Kind of like the Cadillac uh, sports sedan uh, touring uh, race car out of it, kind of getting some ground effects. So this is kind of just a prototype. Uh, you know, in the in the comments below, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Um, just trying something out here. Uh, that, like I say, this is not done at all or complete. Uh, I just uh, threw it on the uh, the old table here just to kind of take a look at stuff. So anyway. Um, Let's take a look at what I found just recently here in Wisconsin. Um, I got to put a note on me on <laughs> this one. Don't open because this one is actually from the F case. And uh, what I do have is a lot of them from the E case. Well, not a lot, a lot, but uh, we've got, uh, what is it? Five of them here from the F case. Uh, yeah, just a funny story there. Um, haven't been out and about for a while and uh, I went to uh, three different Walmarts uh, a little ways away from me not too far but and uh, yeah spent uh, spent some coin oh boy it was a it was a rough day on the old uh, budget that day so anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these out yes the new Range Rover Velar in black and we're gonna talk more about our um, colored top, the glass on the top is uh, very different now for this one. Uh, there it is. Let's take a look first at this uh, nice, beautiful black model here. It's uh, really kind of hard with the lighting and everything to see black, but uh, very, very nice. Now, uh, it's not metallic or anything like that. It looks like there's a, maybe a little uh, orange peel going on there. Same wheels, same uh, uh, decals, the whole total package there. Very, very nice. Uh, you know, I, I really like this. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I, you know, this is really cool. But what I want to talk to you about and show you is now this black one is very very definitely darker yet than the white or the silver now this is the silver one i've got here and uh, you see that that is a little less uh dark I'm trying to hold all these without dropping them all as you can see we have different shades or different transparency of that top glass yeah very very obvious very obvious the lightest of them all being the uh, white one now going back to our friend Colin yeah his name will pop up on the screen again yeah Colin <laughs> he, he brought to my attention that um, there was a gray one on eBay that was uh, light light canopy on a gray one which was kind of uh, very very kind of different and uh, the guy was uh, kind of getting kind of wild with the price, but not too bad. But, <laughs> but I mean, it's his. He, he can set whatever price he wants for it, I guess. But um, the interesting thing is, is I went through and I, you know, because I don't have all that many uh, of these uh, silver ones. Well, the silver ones are, are getting uh, really kind of popular right now. I actually am getting quite a few silver ones. But... Now I have found um, a handful here, these uh, five here that of, of the silver ones that are very, very dark glass. 
Yes, and you can see it even in the packaging that it is very much um, like the black uh, Velars. If I can hold this without dropping it, but even in the packaging, you can tell that there are they are really really dark. Um, I'm going to show you one here that's a light one. Oh man, that doesn't show up very well, does it? Well, you're going to just have to trust me. <laughs> so I don't know if you really want to call this a variation or not. I'm setting them aside. Uh, like I say, these uh, silver ones, I do have uh, quite a few of these. Um, and, and they seem to be uh, plentiful. And that's kind of why I'm, I'm trying to look to see what I can do uh, to customize them. And, uh, you know, I, I still... Uh, I need to um, get one and strip the paint off and uh, do my uh, bare metal one. Yeah, the uh, Zamax, so it'll lose its uh, all of its uh, decals and stuff like that. But uh, going to be pretty neat. I can't wait for that. So there you go. That's what we're uh, talking about today. Keep your eyes open. We're going to take a look at this nice black one on the way out of here. Thank you very much. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you give me a comment down below on what you're finding uh, in the stores where you're at. Uh, are you finding variations in these uh, glass tops? Uh, is it a variation? Do you think that's uh, something to be watching for or not? Uh, if you're kind of like Colin and I, we, we like that oddity stuff and we try to collect that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, kind of set it aside, put it aside. You never know exactly uh, what's going to happen, you know, with the collector's market, you know. But uh, the other thing that's different on this one is uh, it's a solid black base. I don't know if we could really tell. This is kind of like a charcoal, charcoal base, you know, but this is really a dark, dark black. Uh, other than that, they're kind of the same. Uh, I haven't Obviously, you just saw me open this one. I haven't had time to uh, drill one open and see if the interior has changed at all. Normally, they're just a uh, gray interior, uh, kind of a opaque gray, I guess. But anyway, there you go. Uh, what are you finding? Are you finding these black ones in your store nearby? Yeah, do you like it? I like it. It's nice. It's neat. It's it's not metallic, which is all right with me, and uh, just a very nice car. All righty, my friends. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and you guys have a great war over day.